Where for it? Hopefully it won't get the message. Cessna 150M. I liked my driver's ed car so much I bought it. But we do so well, what we do know well. So we're doing what we can for this new know well. This is an airplane designed to teach the world to fly. It is slow, with big windows and a rear window, fat wings, oversized flaps, a simple 100 horsepower Continental O200 200 cubic inch, or about 3.3 liter air-cooled flat four engine. The whole plane weighs only about 1,200 pounds, depending on accessories. These things go for about $25,000 or up to $50,000 for ones with modern avionics and low hours. The Cessna 150 maxes out at 125 miles per hour in level flight, but it's much happier just cruising along at 90. 160 miles an hour is its never exceed speed. That's the structural limit of what the 150 can take in a dive. It can fly as high as 14,000 feet. That's 4,000 feet higher than where most people need supplemental oxygen. If you're the only one flying, you can travel about 450 miles before you're coming down in a farm field. My friend Greg came along this day, and we asked him if he wanted a, a turn to fly the 150. And Greg said, nah, I've flown plenty of these. See, that's like if Greg asked me if I wanted to drive a 1997 Chevy Cavalier with an automatic and 12,000 miles and then give my opinion. What opinion? It's an car, just a docile entry-level budget machine. What's to say? Oh, but this is a Cavalier Z24. Want to give me your opinion on that? Here's my opinion. It's a Cavalier with some extra pep. Oh, but this is a rare Cessna 150. It's the Aerobat. So? It's a 150 that can do a loop. The Aerobat variant of the 150 has the exact same O200 engine as the stock 150, but the airframe is stronger to allow basic aerobatic instruction. You know, loops, lazy eights, all of this stuff. Even comes with this little placard that just tells you how to do it. And the Aerobat comes with uh, four-point harnesses and two little sunroof windows above you so you can look up at the ground when the airplane is upside down. It has these little handles that eject the doors and the seats have removable back padding so you can fly while you're wearing a parachute. And you also get this badge on the inside that says Aerobat. And it has uh, some checkerboard graphics there reminding you to Hey, hey you! Don't, don't watch, watch that, that! Watch this! this. this Aerobat is also the 150M iteration. Uh, the M existed for the final three years of the 150's production. That's about 1975 to 1977. The M years got a 15% larger tail for more yaw, I guess. But the 150 does have one desirable feature which was standard across all trim levels, and it kind of sets this uh, little trainer apart from the other trainers. And here it comes. Here comes the 150 money shot. Oh, yes. Oh, daddy, yes. Give me your fat flaps. Give me 40 degrees. Uh, uh, drop them low. Fly slow. Huh? So slow. 40 degrees of flaps on a trainer is like giving a driver's ed Chevy Cavalier stop tech disc brakes, calipers, and pads. Why? Why do that? That's just overkill. 40 degrees of flaps is pushing stall territory, you know, short takeoff and landing. With these booty barn doors all the way down, a 150 can slow down to 48 miles an hour before stalling in flight. I ski faster than that. When the 152 replaced the 150 in 1977 and 1978, the 40 degree flaps went away. The 152's flaps only went to 30 degrees. And fans were all boo! I get what Cessna was thinking. Learning to fly with monster flaps at the ready to aggressively slow the plane during landing could allow student pilots to develop bad habits. It's like if you really did have a driver's ed cavalier with grabby rotors and pads all around and a student driver learned on that. The student would assume that all cars can stop like that, so they'd develop poor driving habits like braking late for stop signs and traffic lights. And they'd start tailgating people and, and they'd think, why not? From, from their perspective, they can stop in two car lengths. 
you know, just glide slope. What's a glide slope? I know how to land. I just point the nose at the runway, put flaps to full, cut power flare, and plop her down. Planning my stops? Why? Just press the pedal all the way down and stop. Okay. Nice. But here's a Lincoln Town car. Try to stop at that sign. I'll wait for you a block down the street. Eric added LED navigation lights, this nod to Firefly, and toothless, because the port wing was repaired by the previous owner but never repainted. It's still bare aluminum. Eric is going to repaint this section of the wing, but he's not going to bother matching the paint. It's just going to be bright red. It's good to see that the philosophy of wabi-sabi also exists in civil aviation. So here I am, learning to fly, and learning not to throw up. It's my new thing. I even have a pilot logbook. This is an ASA pilot logbook. What is ASA, you ask? Well, it stands for Aviation Supplies and Academics. Every time you fly an airplane, you must write down the date, what you flew, the identification number, where you came from, where you went to, the category of aircraft, what you were doing while flying, was it day, was it night, and how long you flew. None of this can count toward your pilot's license unless a license instructor was with you and can sign your logbook. So, in summary, in the air, everything matters. Flying is something I always wanted to learn how to do. My dad was a Navy pilot, Naval officer, and he tried to teach me to fly the Navy way, which was illiberal. So I'm learning to fly from scratch and learning to enjoy flying to go with the plane, ride with the bumps and thermals, which jostle tiny planes like this about. Here's a photo of two chairs butted up next to each other at a table. This is how cramped a 150 is. You're man-touching and man-smelling. All of these little planes have a specific musk, armpit sweat, instructor breath, fear farts, boogers, old pilot cologne, and it's all marinated in leaded avgas fumes and baked in the sun. Maybe, maybe that's what learning smells like. And none of this counts toward your license. I'm Technology Connections. My dimples are unlimited. In the air, everything matters. Maybe she's born with it. And can sign off toward your book. 